one of the important aspects of keeping a hatchery well maintained is understanding the water quality, understanding the bacteria, understanding what we're bringing in with the eggs because they're coming in from the field, what type of bacteria they come with. The majority of the time it's very healthy bacteria, but it's good to be able to check and make sure that we're not bringing in any, for instance, any pathogenic type of bacteria. So today I'm really happy to let you know that we have Julio Garcia, who's with the USDA ARS, and he's a microbiologist, and he's come to the lab to show us how to put together techniques to be able to measure the bacteria that is with our egg masses. And so thank you so much, Julio. Thank you. So I'm gonna take two samples of each one of the um, samples that Megan brought from the field. One is gonna be the surface of the eggs. Now we're gonna be streaking the samples into two different type of media, marine agar and TCBS. And those media should help us determine the bacteria. So Julio is now working with a marine agar called TCBS and it's very a specific agar, whereas the clear agar was more general. I do want to let you all know that this is an optional um, testing that you can do in a hatchery, but it's really important to understand if there are any problems in your hatchery, where your problems might lie. And so that's why this is an investigation and we want to make sure that we have this option available. Um, should you need to figure out, you know, maybe why the eggs aren't hatching or why the larvae aren't surviving. So Julio is now taking something called parafilm and sealing the plates so that no other airborne bacteria can actually get into the plates. So then in about 48 hours, we'll be able to see the colonies that are growing on the plate.